And we have our fuel fill hose right here. We're gonna take that clamp loose. And then also we have the overflow hose. We're gonna take that loose as well. Now this is gonna be the, the port we're gonna to use to siphon the fuel from the tank. Something to keep in mind, the level of where this, this uh, fitting is on your tank, you wanna make sure the, the fuel is below that. We have about a half of a tank in a vehicle, so we're good. But just in case, make sure you have a catch can handy to go ahead and catch any gas that would leak out. Let's go ahead and take the hoses off. Okay, let's go ahead and get our siphoning kit and get the gas out of the tank. Okay, we have the hose in the tank. The next thing we want to do is go ahead and prime the siphoning kit. To do that, put our finger over the end of the hose and pump it. Squeeze the bulb two or three times to get the fuel flow going, and then insert the hose into our can. Drain a fuel tank down to at least a quarter of a tank. Check your gauge on a dash to see how much fuel you have. We have almost a half a tank. The key here is to understand how many gallons are in the tank. Our owner's manual tells us that this vehicle has a 25 gallon tank. And since it's almost half full, we'll have to assume it has about 12 gallons in it. We want to take out as much as we can, so we'll siphon out about 10 total gallons into our jugs here. Well, I think that's about it right there. We got about 10 gallons of fuel out of the tank. That'll make it a lot lighter coming out of the vehicle. What we want to do now is go ahead and take our siphoning kit out of the tank. And then one final thing I'm going to do too is I'm going to go ahead and plug up those two holes. I'll just put a couple of shop rags on those. It'll keep the, the vapors in the tank, plus it'll stop the debris from falling into there. Okay, we're ready to go ahead and drop the tank. We've checked our repair manual and found out that this tank is held in place by two straps. Spraying penetrating oil on the bolts first and letting it work its way into the threads for a few minutes will make it a lot easier to move the bolts. Placing a jack stand under the tank will keep it from dropping out too quickly and also make it easier to remove the tank once I finish disconnecting everything. I want to drop the tank just enough to be able to get to the fuel and the electrical connections on top. I don't want to remove the tank from the vehicle completely yet, as that could put a strain on the connections and damage them. Go ahead and unplug the EVAP sensor. With that out of the way, we can go ahead and lower our jack stand down a little bit lower. Use one of the special tools to disconnect the fuel lines from the pump. Consult your repair manual or check with the folks at AutoZone to find the right type of disconnect tool for your specific vehicle. The lines to the pump are different sizes and each will require its own tool but the package will tell you which tool goes with each line. Next, remove the vent hose. With that disconnected, the tank can be lowered all the way. As with any job, to do it right, you'll need the right tools. The nice thing is that jobs today don't require a large, expensive assortment. Basic hand tools are generally all you'll need.
The first things you'll need are a socket set, brake line wrench, and a repair manual for your specific vehicle. In case where a specialty tool is required, be sure to check with AutoZone's Loan a Tool program. They have many specialty tools that can help you complete your job a lot quicker and easier. Be cautious when working under the hood. If the engine has been running, components will be extremely hot, so be careful what you touch. When working around a running engine, it is important to be alert and never wear loose clothing or a necktie that can get tangled in belts, pulleys, or the fan. When lifting a vehicle, never work under it until it has been secured with wheel blocks and securely positioned on jack stands. A hydraulic jack alone is never enough. Be cautious when working with oils and chemicals. Many are damaging to the groundwater environment and toxic to people and animals. Never drain or pour chemicals into the ground or sewer systems. Local municipalities and counties offer resources for proper disposal. And always remember to wear your safety glasses. Get the entire DVD for this repair and all other procedures covered in the Complete Car Care Series at your local AutoZone store.